Oh, I got that. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that was so good. Morning, everybody. Fantastic to see you all again. Oh, I've got such an exciting day today. I'm here in the Lake District with these amazing autumn colours. And I've got my hands on not one, but two Nikon Z9s. But more importantly, I've not just got pebbles, I've also got Fox, because I'm here with Julian from Nikon, who has brought me these two cameras. I am super lucky to get my hands on them. But obviously, this is more than I need. You know, I don't need the Nikon Z9, this super fast camera, but it's gonna be interesting because I'm gonna shoot some landscapes, but also because we've got pebbles and fox, it means that I can shoot some shots of pebbles that I've struggled to get before. More about that later. Let's go and see if we can find some woodland shots. It's just been raining and it looks spectacular. Okay, so I found my first scene here and it's a, a really nice enclave of woodland. So I'm gonna shoot it with the Z9. At the moment, I've got the wrong lens on. As I talked about in last week's video, my favorite lens for woodland photography is a 24 to 70. So I'm gonna swap the lens. One of the best things about the Z9 is that it's got a sensor shield. So you can take your lens off, you know, you can have like wind, whatever, and you don't have to worry too much about your sensor. So, so much less cleaning of your sensor. I'm going to put the 24 to 70 on and we're going to shoot this amazing woodland scene here. Um, so, unfortunately, the silver birch have lost a few of their leaves. So, it's not ideal. I think when I was just walking through the woodland, just a little bit further down there, there was a, a little bit more leaf on the a silver birch so hopefully when we explore today i'll find a shot that's got a little bit more um leaves on but this is good i've got this set of um silver birch on the left hand side here and yeah it's looking pretty good i'll just show you the scene so i have got on the on the left hand side here i've got the silver birch and then i've got this um tree here and then another set of silver birch here and the background mountain which looks fantastic because it's so colorful and yeah i'm going to shoot this at it's around about 35 millimeters iso 64 but i'm probably also going to up the iso as well just to get a faster shutter speed but i'll try it at iso 64 because the wind's dropped a little bit um at f10 to get everything in focus it looks amazing I've just spotted um, a little composition here and I've actually um, got my 70 to 200 lens on um, because I just want to crop out. You can probably just see there's a house in the background. So I'm going to sort of get around here a little bit this side. And these two trees, I just think look nice, just a bit tighter. So after saying that my favorite lens was a 24 to 70, there is times in woodland where you just want to, if I just show you this, you just want to get in a little bit tighter. So. You can see I've got the house in here. If I just zoom in a little bit, then those leaves look amazing. And you can see one of the things with the Z9 is, you know, I'm not used to this as a, a landscape photographer. I'm always shooting like this. And if I go into portrait, I do this. It's actually quite nice handheld doing this and just shooting it like this. And it is quite a heavy camera, but it just makes it a little bit easier to hold, I'd say. So I'm just gonna grab that shot moment i'm recording in 8k so you can see i can crop in and you can still see these leaves in 4k <laughs> it's a great it's really incredible ah oh, right on to a next composition i think and i think it's time pebbles isn't it that we shoot you yeah I need to get some photos of you you're very wet though
So this is the exciting <laughs> So the, as you can see from Fox here, Pebbles isn't bothered about the stick at all, but Fox likes to have a stick thrown. And I'm about to try, no, you can't have it yet. I'm about to try something that's spectacular. No Pebbles, you can't have it, which is the tracking mode. Okay, so this is the really exciting bit. I've got Pebbles and Fox, and I'm gonna try and do something that I've really struggled with before, which is just try and get a sharp set of photos of them running directly at me. Um, I'm gonna try on the path at first, and then we'll try in different situations. But I just had a quick go, and it was, it just blew my mind, to be honest. It shoots at 20 frames per second, in raw 45.7 megapixels and 30 frames per second in high resolution <laughs> JPEG, which just, just blows your mind really. Um, and it also shoots 120 frames per second, continuous autofocus in, J in JPEG um, at 11 megapixels. So there's a lot of things to try. I'm really excited. I've got my camera set at 1600th of a second, F2A. I've got my 7200 on and it's auto ISO. So all I need to do is throw a stick for Fox and when she comes back, <laughs> see if I can get her in focus. So here we go. Fox, what's this? Right. So we're just going to try and see when she comes towards it, it's going to track her eye. Here it goes, it's got it. Oh my word, she didn't run fast enough. <laughs> right, okay, there, there goes Fox. Right, she's got the stick. She's coming, she's coming back. Oh, it's tracked, oh, she dropped the stick. No, you dropped the stick, you gotta go faster, we want fast. Oh, Pebbles is coming, oh, that was so good, yay! Well done, Pebbles. That was incredible, it tracked it so well. Okay, I got pebbles. I think I got are in focus all the way through. That's incredible. So look at that. Oh, that's so good that it just tracks her all the way. Right, pebbles. I think I might be taking more shots of you. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, there goes Fox. <laughs> She's so fast. <laughs> Right, no pebbles, don't walk in the way. <laughs> it can't see through dogs. That's not good, is it? It's not that clever. Pebbles. <laughs> <You can't. laughs> oh, Fox is going again. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, it's, it's locked on, it's locked on. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Hey, oh, that should be good. <laughs> oh, I got that. <laughs> That was amazing. That was so good. It's a hard thing to know that your soul will stay hollow. Okay, so I'm going to try something a little trickier here. That worked. What I want to do is shoot um, Fox or Pebbles just coming through these ferns here. Um, I'm going to try it in a vertical. It's, it's a nice composition with the trees in the background. Um, and I've set it to an, a large area in the middle. So it's just going to focus in this area. So as long as I get Fox or Pebbles in that area, then it's going to track them at high speed. I've got it, same settings, 1600 of a second, F2.8. This is a big test. Right, Fox, you're on. Oh, that could be good. <laughs> right, well, if you got that, it'd be a miracle. Bang. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> Let's see, that was so fast. She ran through so fast. Oh, that's just amazing. Right, let's have a look at this one. <laughs> it's pin sharp again. Can't believe it. I never get that many sharp shots. Just stay. So 
I'm going to try shooting sort of into the light slightly. The light at the edge of the forest is here. Um, it just creates a slightly different look to the photo. Um, again, it's going to be quite difficult this um, in terms of a shooting scene. See what happens. We just need Fox now. Oh, that was fast. It'll be interesting to see whether that worked. Oh my word. I think that's got it in focus. That's incredible. Okay, let's have a look at some of the shots that we've just taken. <laughs> okay, so as she comes through the fern there, that is incredible. If that's sharp, it's amazing. I, I just can't believe that's done that. That is so incredible. So, yeah, so they were, they were, <laughs> it just blew my mind that it shoots through these ferns. I mean, I'm no expert, I'm no wildlife photographer, pet photographer, and to be honest, it's not something that I've really done a lot of because I've had a lot of failures, but, uh, you know, the, it's, again, the Z9 is not a landscape photography camera, but it's very tempting to get pictures of pebbles and maybe when I'm out shooting birds and things like that. So it's something that I'm going to have to think really hard about. Oh, anyway, the sun's coming out a little bit, which makes it a little bit trickier to do woodland photography. So, but I think I'm going to see if I can find another shot here because it's really amazing. Nice composition here, vertical composition, and um, it's of these, these ferns and these trees. And I'm really excited because I can actually move my screen up like that. And with a bad back, it helps me just to be able to look at the composition and think about it. Um, I don't. I like looking at a screen like this. I like just sort of um, sort of surveying it just from the screen rather than looking through the eyepiece. Different people like different things, but I really like using the screen and it's a pretty good screen as well. So here you can see I've got this composition of the fern going down to these ferns, up to these trees, and then there's some nice background sort of foliage. The colors look amazing. And um, yeah, it's just a question of just shooting at F11. I've got it about a fortieth of a second because I want to catch any movement in this fern here and I might actually shoot a bit faster and I've got it on auto ISO so that I'm just setting the aperture and the shutter speed I want and it's then saying what ISO it's going to shoot at to get it um, exposed correctly. Um, it's important also when you're doing this just to have a look at the histogram as well. All looks good, wait for the wind to drop. I'm going to take a picture focus there and there and there and there all the way through the scene. I need enough. I've got all the data I need and I can worry about that when I'm back in my studio. This looks brilliant. Oh my word, have you just seen the light behind us here? So we're gonna try and get some backlit shots of the dogs in the water, um, but I've got to take a shot of this as well. So I've just got my 7200 on, I'm just gonna shoot, just try and get some of the cloud in, the nice light coming through there, and then we'll shoot the dogs. This is so amazing. <laughs> Okay, it's a couple of days after now, and I'm back in my studio looking at the 5,000 photos <laughs> I took, which was incredible. And um, yeah, I just wanna show you a photo from that last scene I was just at. So this was a landscape shot I took, which I, I really like. Um, but this was um, a shot I got of pebbles, and she was running, the, the water was quite shallow, and she was running across the water um, from sort of right to left here. 
and I was trying to get a picture of her with the mountains in the background. And I set it up on continuous autofocus with, um, set it up as on pet eye tracking. I think it can do pet, birds, cars, people. I only tried it on pebbles. In fact, it might do dogs and cats differently. Anyway, this was, um, this was just incredible because there was a lot of water and I expected them not, not to be in focus. So when I got back and looked at them in detail, I was sort of so blown away that her eye is perfectly in focus here. The autofocus was really incredible. And for me, someone who doesn't use that function very often, I've tried it on my Z7 and my Z6 II and it's good, but I, I used to get a lot of out of focus um, images, if I'm honest. Um, but it was so incredible. It really was markedly different in, in the Z9 than anything that I've used before. Um, it, it just, it was the speed of tracking which really surprised me. Now obviously I'm going to say positive things about it. I'm a Nikon ambassador. I was there with um, Julian from Nikon. Um, but I, I, I feel like I would be honest. If, if I probably wouldn't be producing this video if I didn't think it was any good. Um, but yeah, it was, yeah, it blew my mind actually. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about the pros and cons in a minute. I just wanted to show you a few other images that I, I took with, with the eye tracking. So this was one of Fox, who was amazing. Um, she ran around here again. This was incredible. You can see Julian trying to get out of the way in the background. This one here was the one that surprised me the most. Basically, pebbles ran when we threw a pebble in the water. So we threw a pebble over this um, stick here. She jumped over it and you can see the pebble splashing. The pebble splashed and created quite a lot of water in the air. The incredible thing was that it, it still focused on her eye. So it was so incredible. This was actually at ISO 8000. And um, you can probably see, I'm just looking at the JPEGs in Lightroom because it won't load the um, raw images. I had a look at the raw Im Im images in NX Studio, um, the Nikon software, but um, yeah, I didn't do a lot of processing on them. They, they looked similar to the Z7 is what I'd probably say. Um, but this has got a little bit of noise reduction in, in, on it, but still, it's incredible. Before I conclude my thoughts on the camera, I just want to say a little bit about the video because that's really important to me. Um, I was blown away by that as well. The specs are um, 4K, 120, 10 bit in camera, um, which is pretty amazing, um, but it records 8K uh, at 30 frames per second and it will record 8K at 60 frames per second. Now that, that to me as a videographer is really important because I publish my videos in 4K. So 8K is important because it allows me to crop and zoom in and do different things. Um, and, and that makes a really big difference. You can see in this image here, uh, I'm just zooming in from the 8K footage to, to a point in the camera, but that point where I zoom into is still 4K because I've recorded it in 8K. So that is really important to me. Okay, before I tell you about whether I'll get one or not, um, I, I just want to say what I love about this 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 camera. Obviously, the autofocus was amazing. Um, the video stuff I've talked about, um, and and I said in the in the thing that having that portrait screen that that flips up. I mean, to be honest, Nikon probably should have put that in all their cameras from the beginning. I don't know why they didn't, um, but having it is is a benefit, especially for me with a bad back when I'm shooting portrait images high up or low down. The sensor shield. That's a game changer. I, I change my lenses so often when I'm in, you know, more inhospitable conditions like in Iceland where there's a lot of sand and things like that. It's just so good to know that it's going to get protected. And then the battery life. <laughs> we shot between us about 300 gigabytes of footage on two cameras. Um, I, I shot probably around about 5,000 images. At the end of the day, we were halfway through a battery <laughs> on each camera bonkers so yeah the the battery just blew my mind as well so the, the final thing is will i get one well this camera i feel like it's got everything that everybody would ever need the one downside for me is the weight of it and, and how big it is because i i have a problem with my back and i want to hike up mountains and i want to get things as small as possible so I, i'm a little bit unsure really i probably not um because i'm a landscape photographer uh, uh, but I have to say, the ability to just be able to have a camera with me that allows me to shoot some wildlife or shoot pebbles or whatever is, is really exciting. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a bit unsure, but you know, I, I love my Z7. Um, but it was such an amazing experience using this Z9. What an incredible camera. Thanks to Julian and thanks to Fox for playing with pebbles all day. She absolutely loved it. She was tied out at the end of it. I'll leave you with some footage 
of Pebbles and Fox. Thanks ever so much for watching. And until Sunday, which hopefully is going to be this Sunday, it might not be, it might be the Sunday after, depending on whether I can get a good quality video out or not. I, I want to make sure I do things good. But hopefully I'll see you this Sunday. But until then, bye. Oh, just before I go, um, this was a photo I wanted to show you that I've not showed you before of the two. I'll leave you with some footage of these two. This is Fox and Pebbles, as they were all day, pretty wet. <laughs> see you next Sunday. Bye. Yeah.